The father of Lake and Riley has just addressed Georgia politicians. Lake and Riley is the 22 year old who unfortunately lost her life at the hands of someone who is in our country illegally on the campus of the University of Georgia. So this is Lakin's father and he is asking them to declare an invasion on people that are in our country illegally. Here he is. I stand before you a heartbroken man. Part of my purpose has been taken. God gave me a beautiful daughter to father, protect, provide for, and nurture. A man with an evil heart stole her life. He was in this country and in this state illegally. My vision for every senator in this chamber is that you protect citizens from this illegal invasion. Please recognize over a million illegal aliens are in this state and making families nervous. Please recognize Athens Clark is a sanctuary city and this policy and the lack of action led to the murder of my daughter. There are a few of you in this chamber that are standing up and working on a solution to protect us. For that, my family is thankful. Lakin is thankful. Governor Kemp, please declare an invasion to detain and deport criminal illegals so we can prevent future families from those tragedies. What's unique about Lakin's case is Jose Abara, that is the person being charged with Lakin's murder. Not only was he released into the country due to lack of detention space at the border after he entered, he was apprehended once in New York, also apprehended once in Savannah, not Savannah, Georgia, I'm sorry, in Athens, Clark County, that's where UGA was. But due to sanctuary laws, his information was not handed over to ICE for detainer and removal. Lakin's whole case is causing a lot of people that live in Georgia to question sanctuary cities and a lot of things like these. Now I'm gonna play you a video from the mayor of the town where Lakin lost her life, the town that's technically sanctuary, although they don't call themselves that. We'll get to that in a second. And this was right after her passing where a lot of people were really upset that this individual was allowed to stay in the country even after committing crimes in the country. What you should know about Georgia and this is what they do. So technically Georgia under their law, they're not supposed to have any sanctuary jurisdictions, but they get away with this by technically not calling it sanctuary, but acting as if they were sanctuary. Not only that, you guys, but they specifically use college towns to act as these sanctuary cities, these sanctuary jurisdiction under the guise of we are protecting our students. See what I'm saying? And obviously the people that attended this press conference, they were not buying, or at least they were not picking up what this mayor was putting down. Here's a clip from that. Calls, many emails, many queries from the press in recent days about this notion of a sanctuary city. And so I wanna lay some things to rest here today. This term sanctuary city doesn't have a sole legal or procedural definition. You can look in Georgia statute, and you can find a clear definition for a unified a government. For that. You They're can look in contractual language and you can find out exactly what it means to be an SEC institution. Sanctuary City doesn't track with either of those. And so that term means different things to different people depending on the context of the discussion. Uh, we know many, what it means. many of the elements, liar. many of the elements, liar. 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 We, liar. we're liar. here to listen. Liar. We're here to listen. Liar. You're be time a for liar. Questions. You are guilty and got blood on your hands for this murder, sir. Many of the aspects. And here are my receipts that I actually posted on my Instagram account back in 2018 during the mayoral debate. That same exact mayor that you just saw in that video clip said that complying with federal immigration law is unconstitutional. That's exactly what sanctuary is. So you might not call yourself that, but you are acting as if. And the reason you can't call yourself that is because you know you can't but there it is, there's the proof. 
Now, that being said, what is actually unconstitutional is prioritizing people that are not here legally over citizens. And our Bill of Rights was made exactly for someone like Lake and Riley. And in that Bill of Rights, it says that the job of your government is to protect your rights to live, to pursue happiness, and to be safe. That is the job of your government. And with them not complying, they are going against exactly what they were put in place to do, in my opinion.